right if loving you is wrong fans now this is just a brief bit well then again it might be a long video just know this is one of those videos where visuals really aren't a factor there won't be any pictures truly relevant to what i'm talking about i'm just going to be talking about something that fans have somewhat been in an uproar about ever since it was announced that hey tonight's episode jennifer uh is the season finale for season four i believe and a lot of people are like, why is the, the show's going off already? It's only been, what, seven, eight episodes? And we've had to wait over a year for it to come back. What's going on? Well, think of it this way. If we didn't have a two-night season premiere, the next Tuesday would technically be the season finale. And on top of that, I can definitely see where the anger is. But I, I think it's pretty much, you know, really directed at the lack of the identity of the baby daddy being revealed. I don't think we're going to find out tonight. I've done at least two or three videos stating that point. But in terms of why the show's taking a break, I honestly think this is the smartest thing for Tyler Perry to do, in my opinion, uh, due to the fact that I think there is strong evidence that the haves and the have-nots and if loving you is wrong are coming to an end on OWN sometime in 2020. And instead of like, you know... Uh, I hate to use this phrase, but, uh, you know, blowing his load all at once, kind of like last year. The reason I think we got 30 plus episodes of the haves and the have nots was simply because, well, number one, there were no other shows running. The pains ran and guess what? It tripped up before it even hit the halfway mark. The show is done. It's canceled. So the haves and the have nots was the only project he was really working on to put episodes out for on own. I honestly do not know why if Loving You Is Wrong was gone for so long. It could have been something due to the show not being renewed for an extended amount of time. Uh, Tyler Perry gearing up to leave on for Viacom. So it's pretty much, you know, uh, instead of putting all my shows on at one time, I'm just going to spread it all out. That way I'll have enough content to carry the show into 2019. And then during the first half of 2020, and then the shows will be pulled from the air. That's just my theory of how that worked. Now, with the pains being canceled, I do think it actually does make sense that throughout the duration of 2019, we're going to switch back and forth where the haves and the have nots will come on for maybe 10 or a dozen episodes. Then if Loving You Is Wrong will come on for maybe 8 to 10 plus episodes. Then we're just going to backtrack back and forth. Pretty much every two to three months, we'll see a cycle of these shows and then we go into 2019 and then the shows in their course. I've done plenty of videos about if these shows are ending, so I'm not even going to go into it in this video. And no, you won't have to endure the many clips of Tyler Perry, Benny, Veronica, Jeffrey talking about their thoughts on what the future of the show will be. But all I'm saying is the question of why the show is going on break, I think it's just for the fact that Tyler Perry is spreading his shows out from now until 2020 kind of like you know i know that's a huge difference from 2018 where we started off the year with the haves and have nots tuesday if loving you is wrong on wednesday the pains on friday at least from what january to march then after that if loving you is wrong just disappeared off the map and then the pains uh for a little bit of time was running when the haves and have nots wasn't yeah i remember that painfully so because i was reviewing that show since there was nothing else for me to talk about and this year, I think he's definitely spreading it out. I think that uh, Aiden Turner said there are like 20 episodes in this upcoming season. So I don't know if that means that, hey, we're going to take away eight episodes and put that at the back half of season four. And then the remaining 12 episodes will be season five. I don't think that's the case. Maybe season five is 20 episodes. We'll just have to wait and see. I do know they filmed more than eight when they were in Atlanta last year. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe if Loving You is wrong when it comes back, uh, maybe in June or July, hopefully tonight we'll get a return date. Um, you know, maybe that'll be it for 2019 and then the haves and the have nots will reign supreme for the rest of the year. I don't know. But overall, for me, I do think it's just a matter of him spreading things out until the end of his contracts. And yeah, I know he's supposed to start his Viacom deal next month, literally. Well, technically, it started, the movie deal and whatnot started last year, and he's been doing TV stuff, and shows will be coming later this year. But in terms of with OWN, his contract will officially end next month. And on top of that, I've said it time and time again, as a content creator, it is very handy for me that he spreads the shows out. That way, I'm not wearing myself ragged doing all these videos within a week. That's why I never really re um, recorded If Loving You Is Wrong content due to the fact that 
it came on the night after the haves and the have nots and it was way too much trying to do both drama series at once so for me i consider it a blessing that he's doing one at a time that way throughout the year i'll have consistent content i can give my focus on one show and you can definitely tell that if loving you is wrong i've done far more videos on this show than i ever thought expected i remember when the show was coming back and i said you know what enough people are talking about it the show's been gone for over a year I'll do y'all a solid. I'll go ahead and review the show. Nah, you know what? I don't even think I can get as many videos out like I do with the have. So what I'll do, you can at least expect episode reviews and trailer breakdowns, but that's about it. Nope. Been going far beyond that. So basically, um, for me, that's a good thing. And the show has proven to be very successful on the channel despite uh, negativity towards the show, especially with the baby daddy stuff. So I want to record one more video after this in regards to the show itself. And I do feel like I should record it after the finale, but I don't feel like waiting. I'll just go ahead and do it now. The video is going to be a focus on why do you watch the show? You know, like what exactly is it about if loving you is wrong that you want to watch? I mean, aside from the baby daddy stuff, what else is there to really keep the show going? But that's going to be its own video. But for now, hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about why the show is going on a break. Um, as far as I know, it's not going to be a year hiatus like last time. And uh, I really do hope that we will get at least the release date after tonight's episode. Now, we don't have to get a trailer for what's to come. Honestly, I'll be okay with that. But I do feel like we at least need to get a return date. But then again, this being own, even if they give us a return date, there's no guarantee that return date is accurate. It might change it three times before now when the show comes back. So once again, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to check out the episode tonight at 10 o'clock. And I'll talk to you all soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you in the next video.